one-on-ones. Okay, Dave, this week we have a game of skill. So you're <laughs> screwed. Oh, there hey. it is. Straight uh, off the bat. This is uh, Black and White Bushido, yes. which is a game about... And I think you've got an advantage because you're the dark one, obviously, so that's going to be better for you, isn't it? Because it's better. To, it's easy to be stealthy. No, because you're when the light you're, one. Because when that's you're the dark, point about this game. Oh, it's harder to see light stuff, isn't it? Well, yeah. in this game, yes, it is. No, so, so what we've done, right. so that people will know who we are, Uh huh. see... I'm the white one, and you're the dark one. Yes, I am. You're shadow, and I'm light. We're going to do a death match uh-huh. to... First ten, to ten. 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 And... That's it. There's no second round. How it works is the level changes between black and white, and we can therefore be hidden, and we basically kill each other. It's very simple. It's, 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 you're going to get it. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh no! It changes on a on a on a die. Oh! Oh! You've got the higher ground. Ah! Oh, I don't know where you are. I'm scared. Oh! Oh! oh, oh no yeah. way! First blood. Oh, that feels yeah. really important. One to the shadow. Hang on. Oh! Oh! No! Oh, oh no! You found. You've stood on my trap. Ah! Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared again. <laughs> you've stopped bleeding. <laughs> There they are. That's oh. right. Oh, oh yeah! No way! Oh yeah! You fell into my trap or treat. Right. Well, what this, the this is. <laughs> oh, you still, still. You get me when the screen goes completely black. Oh. Oh yes. man. Do you like that? Ah, oh, that was quicker than I was. I'm like a reed in the wind, my friend. Like a weed in. The... Where are you? Are you standing on the box? Yeah, I am. Oh. Oh, oh yes. nicely done. We're currently like failing in our own I know, you know, environment. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> yes. Oh god. Oh, but you're bleeding too. Oh, you have to be really patient. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. It's over. Oh, god, I got Slowed down by the... Yeah, it does. It slows you down. Oh, oh. no. Oh. 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 <laughs> no. Keep going. This is my time to shine. Come on. Oh. Oh. Can I kill him? Sure I can. <laughs> Damn. Keep <laughs> really bad at oh. throwing. Sure I can. Oh, yes. oh that or was am good. I? What was that about? 6-3. Wow. This is tough. Oh no! 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 Bad! Bad! Oh, get I can't in. believe it! I had so long to get out of the way of that stupid <laughs> shuriken. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh no! That's what I thought you were. <laughs> that's, that's all my cards. <laughs> I've used to play them all. Ah! Oh, <laughs> no! It's horrible. I feel like my kills have been better than yours. Dave. Oh yeah, I bet you do. Huh. Not again! <laughs> no! Did you make a trap there? There's no way you did. I'm not giving you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, come on. You, you can't attack me before I've even properly landed. What do you mean? I'm the one who is respawning. Damn. <laughs> You're not in the ceiling then. Oh, you are oh. bleeding. Come on. What am I doing? Run away! Oh, yes, no! Yes, no way yes, is it yes. seminal! No way is it seminal! Oh, good God. <laughs> oh, come on! It's that is eight, just on a plate. Eight, eight, seven. All right, just go. I'm just going to stop ah. playing your stupid game now. You know where to find me. <gasps> no! Oh, I can't believe oh, this! Come on! David! What have you done? I've become the ninja, Dave. That's your problem. <gasps> oh, I could all be oh. over in a second. I don't know where you are! I don't like this! I'm here. <laughs> I've always been here. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't see you there. No oh, way! Yes. Oh my yes, god, that yes. was close. Thank god for that. Oh, I really needed that. What is this? Oh no, that feels oh. like my advantage is really gone there. Oh, Ooh. we clanged! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Where am I? I don't even know where I am exactly. I've got an idea. Oh no! Yes! <laughs> Get in the onesie! Oh. It's time! It's time! It's time for comments of the week. Hello and Hello. welcome to what is this? What are we calling this now? Uh, it's the show. It's welcome the, to the show. Welcome to the show. Uh, we've got some explaining to do, haven't we, Dave? We've started as we mean to go on with Nate. With it is Nate. favourite orange, his best orange. That was a uh, quite that a was game. outrageous. Yeah. Well, Dave, I don't know what happened, but I should have won. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I, I was so upset, Dave. I've had a haircut. I know. <laughs> yeah. Just went straight out. <laughs> and, just... and I've grown. Slightly more of a beard. Just cut, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've got some explaining to do because yeah. we've changed things up this week. We yeah. uh, have decided, we've been thinking for a while, we wanted to make Access Granted better. Leaner. And better. meaner. And this is what, one of the ways we thought we'd do it. We thought we'd put one on onesie wow. up front. Yeah, one on onesie seems to be the reason that most people enjoy watching the show. Um, so we thought we'd just put that right up front and then we'd have uh, the comments straight afterwards. And it would give, we've had this feedback before, it would give the loser more time to be in the onesie. Be so. embarrassed, be hot. And so Nate this that. week is drinking a cup of coffee. You told me it would be relatable. Uh, uh, but it's mad when you're in the onesie. Like, aren't you incredibly hot? Under these lights? And under the lights, I'm and fine. on the hottest day of the year so far, let's, apparently. Let's hurry. So, comments then. Comments. Well, first of all, Nate, Destiny 2. That was last week's big news. Dan was there, and Dan Holly. was there. He, he, you can't see him, he's behind the camera. Yeah. Uh, and we watched it live in the office. We did, we, we were playing Destiny and watching the reveal of Destiny it 2. It was quite the Destiny experience Real fans. really. Didn't, yeah. didn't need to go to LA. <laughs> didn't need to go there. We were playing it, it much bigger. Um, which is all pretty exciting. Dan's come back uh, full of beans, destiny beans. <laughs> um, <laughs> in a good way. And I, there was a couple of comments on our on our um, coverage. This made me sad, Nate. Imani Robertson said, yeah. Warlock Master Race. And then Full Metal White Boy said, Hunter is the class for the elite. Right. But I couldn't find anyone excited about Titans. Not oh. one Titan comment. I'm sorry, and, man. That could have been you. you that's really sad. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Titan. You're a hunter. I am. Do you know, I've, re I've read this week as well that hunters are the most popular class. Wow. Most people play as hunters. I saw the, um, the PlayStation European account did a, did a, and that was born out. They did a poll on Twitter and hunters. Out there. Are there any are there any Titans out there? Just Please you, let us know. Just Holly's you. a Titan. Holly and I are, are Titan Holly. buddies. Uh, although we've never we've never played Destiny together, but no. that's because we're both Titans. We've been that'd be no good whatsoever. Uh, so please do let me know if you're a Titan because I'm just I'm just a bit worried. Um, last <laughs> week we were talking about hours played, our most right. hours played, yeah, yeah, and yeah. some people have chucked in their own. Uh, hours played. Starting with GameGirl62 who said Final Fantasy 12 held the record for years at 180 hours Ooh. but this year The Witcher 3 has the record yeah. at 200 and counting trying to wow. get all the side quests and question marks should mention these are single playthroughs which I right. mean that's the kicker like Ooh. one you know this is your one go at The Witcher 3 and you're already over 200 hours that's pretty good going. I don't know what I've got on The Witcher. Lots. Lots. How can you find out? Where can we find this out? Sometimes well? there are in the menus, aren't they? So for instance, yeah, like this weekend, save games and things. I've done 50 hours on Dying Light. I found out this weekend. But you haven't got the platinum. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, Sadie Jarvis says, "I'm a head of department, and yet I have almost 300 hours uh, of game time in The Witcher 3." Wow. So a popular one, The Witcher 3. 300 hours is that one? Marking something. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the head of department, the, the department she's the head of is you know not marking anything. Video department. games department. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but the winner of mm. the Are You Serious uh, award <laughs> of most hours clocked is Ross Withy, who is a sort of functioning adult here with 65 platinum trophies yeah. and 5,500 hours clocked 
on Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Wowzers. Now that I think about it, I might need to check if I do actually function. Wow. That's a lot of hours, isn't it? I mean, there's a PC MMO which I have spent upwards of 50 days in, but I don't think that comes close to that number I of don't hours. know. That's a lot of hours. That's a lot of hours. Uh, I'd be interested to know, actually, how many right. hours Holly has spent playing Final Fantasy XIV. I don't 14. think it's going to be that many. Isn't that all of the hours since it came out? I That's don't know. Insane. But she, you know, Holly often just has it on in the background. That's true. She's at work, she's like typing, she'll just look over and sort of like yeah. just move the stick a bit or something. Yeah, you know, she's stick. <laughs> she's constantly playing Final Fantasy XIV. So, man, that is a lot of our, our hours. You're, all right. You're functioning enough to manage to, to write that, Type something. that good. comment very coherently. So yeah. I think that's pretty good. Um, we've had a couple more questions in as well, Nate. Okay. Quickly, Cody Ward Tell said, me. If you could go back, and I should ask you these before. Okay, uh, but I'm going anyway. to be brilliant. Let's if you it. could go back and experience a game all over again, <gasps> what game would it be? Oh, wow, that's a really good question. Um, I don't know, man, maybe Portal, because finding out how Portal, especially Portal 2, and it was so funny. Portal 2 was Wasn't really that funny. Good. Or well, The Last of Us, just like digging mm. into that and finding I was out thinking how the good last The of Last of Us was. The Last of Us was amazing. I was thinking this weirdly about a TV show. I was thinking about Master of None, which I just love. It's okay. Season 2 is so good. And I was just thinking yesterday, because it could be any number, it's basically anything you really love, right? Yeah. I was just thinking, man, I might, I'd just love to watch that for the first time again. I only watched it for the first time last week, so it just came up. But that's how much I love it. I mean, if and we do other things, then I want to have The Empire Strikes Back. back. Right. Uh, also, because I think my dad ruined Star Wars the Star Wars experience for me. His dad, I'm, I'm not really. <laughs> What? I'm not really sad. Uh, I'm not really sure. I watched them quite young, the Star Wars films, but I'm pretty sure that I watched Return of the, Je Return of the Jedi, right. then Empire Strikes Back, and then A New Bad. Hope. So but completely before, in reverse. Is the home movies were quite new at that point. You had to go to the cinema. I think his thinking was that Return of the Jedi is definitely most for sort of kids, isn't it? It's got Little Ewoks. teddy bears bum, and the big bum, slug bum, man. Bum, bum, I remember bum, him bum, saying bum. like, oh, wait till you see Jabba the Hutt. I just remember him saying about oh. Jabba the Hutt loads. Uh, and it was great. But yeah, so I don't really remember what having about a game, Dave. Come on, bring it back oh, up. I was going to have The Last of Us. We said okay. that. The okay. Last of Us, I think, well, definitely would immediately snap that up. Because oh, I, remember, oh, I remember being on the edge of my seat Dude, throughout e that game. Like Eco or Journey, something which oh, you were just yeah. like, oh, I can't believe this oh, is my doing this. Journey thing. was like a beautiful. That was like. I remember playing that on all day on a Sunday, and it was just the best day. That was really good. But I'm having The Last of Us, and you can't stop me. This is good. We're just talking about games we like. Yeah. Uh, and one more question is from Graham Moore, who says, on, question, if there was platinum trophies for PS1 games, hmm. what would be the one you would want most, and which would be the one you fear? I would probably want Bishy Bashy Special. Really? Maybe Tekken 3. The one I'd fear would be Wipeout, because I've tried getting uh, trophies for Wipeout on uh, PlayStation Vita, and it was very hard. It gets to a bit where you're just like, my, there's nothing in my thumbs or brain that's going to get me over the line here. Yeah. What about you, man? Um, I would probably, I mean, I don't have any Platinums, let's make that clear, so, it, you know, I fear them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe just because it's so iconic, Tomb Raider. Oh, that's a good choice. Tomb Raider would be good, but it would also be so hard. Have you played Tomb Raider recently? Like, you know, the original? Old games are hard, the, man. The, the, the way she moves and stuff is just... Uh, it's different. Different, isn't it? It's different, different to what we know and love. So I think I think that would be good. What about you guys? What That's would a be, good uh, question. It is a good, let's throw that out there. Let us yeah. know uh, for next week which PS1 games you would most want platinumed and which would be the hardest. I'm sure they're, they're all going to be hard because games were different back then. They were so unforgiving back in the day. Don't get your money's worth. Um, Nate, there's one more big okay. change yeah. to, to Access Granted that, we've, leaving? What? <laughs> that we've made that right. we need to address right now. What's that? And that's that we're thinking of Canning oh, the 301 cut. I don't know if there was a there was a clue. Well, it's because in the new sleeker format, there isn't really. We're going to go one and onesie, comments of the week. Yeah. Onesie, comments of the week. And you might still occasionally say excuses, excuses in a booming voice. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to do the 301 We would still anymore. love for you to write 301 Club because it's, it, and if anything, we're making it even more elite because people yeah. would be like, what is this 301 Club? And it's yeah. like, oh, if you don't know, then. We don't remember. But that means that this week, it's the last ever, little asterisk, 301 Club. Unless we change our <laughs> so minds. So everybody, <laughs> open your eyes and ears to the sting. <sighs> Cherish this moment. Here we go. It's the best one as well. They've got the skills to know. Time to watch our next video They're the ones we love 301 Club
better than the comments above. 301. Oh, I'm emotional. I know, all those little badges <laughs> on the doll queue. That was a great few months making that sting, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it took ages. All Man. those badges. Well, we should... Oh. Yeah, well, we should carry on, but we should have a think about all the things that we've retired. Now, if we're doing this more streamlined format, where we only have one-on-onesy thing, which is my favourite. We could think about that another day. And, Let's and think about it in the future. Comments of the week. So, the 301 Club this week, uh, we asked you, based off the, off the back of Farpoint, uh, mm. which is a PSVR game you can see us playing on the channel right now, what uh, PSVR peripheral you would oh, love to see and why? I was and scared I had about some, these answers. You were, and you needn't have been. Mm. I didn't see anything untoward. Excellent. And all I got were these great answers, which I really like. Nathan, I've got four okay. 301 Club entries for you. Hit me. Let's remember, this is the last ever 301 asterisk Club. 301 Club. So there's, you know, <laughs> quite a lot of weight on this. I'm going to start my hand on my chin. Starting with my listening hand. Pretty Dragon Girl. 301 Club, can we have a lightsaber peripheral for Battlefront 2 or maybe force gloves so we could use the force? Oh. I mean, I mean, I like the way you think. I like, the, I mean, a lightsaber is just basically a move motion controller. It is. Isn't it? I so, guess, you know, maybe you want the actual you want, like, blade as OB well so you can hit stuff with it. Might be dangerous. Still virtual day. You're still not hitting it. No, I know, but you want that feedback, don't you? Yeah. What you do is you gonna... set up another one. Okay. I mean, it's just Darth Vader. What you're very having still. is a very complicated. <laughs> That would be great. you find Darth Vader asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Lightsaber on. It keeps le leaving his lightsaber. It's terrible. His electricity bill is Huge. awful. I bet they do use up loads of batteries. I reckon they do. Zix Turner, 301 Club. Congrats everyone who made it this week. As for VR peripherals, haptic feedback coat, nothing like a tap on the shoulder for the ultimate heart attack that's horror VR experience. Really, that's a really good idea. Can you imagine you in a haptic coat? I would refuse to it wear your haptic you coat. It could touch you anywhere. It could stroke you. Oh no. It could massage oh, my God. your could, kidneys. It could breathe on you. Just <laughs> Could it? Well, I don't know. Oh, no, no, right. it, can, it can massage what? your... Can yeah, I, just like, can you I, know... Can no. a force feedback steering wheel breathe on you, Dave? Come on No, now. but if you just imagine the breath on your shoulder. <laughs> that's just imagining. Right. What's the next oh, I like, oh, yeah, it can massage your kidneys, fine, but then I have an idea. No. Right. Jamie Lofts. Let's move on. The VR peripheral should be a pump action shotgun. Release House of the Dead 3 and just watch me commando roll on the floor. Obviously, all the cables would pull and my PS4 would drag along the floor, but for that one moment, I can chew bubble gum and <laughs> kick ass. I mean, that's great, isn't it? Because guns are, you know, great fun. Right. But <laughs> I'm really going with this, Dave. But the Keep pump action shotgun, obviously, surely the what, most what iconic. What you want is one where, yeah, where you can just do the kachukunk. Yeah, that's what you one, want with one with hand. one hand, or maybe the Terminator the style one. Terminator two, that yeah. one. That would be good. That would be great. And yeah, then you'd be rolling around on the floor and stuff. Just smacking yourself in the face with it because you can't see. Yeah, but the aim controller is actually there's no cords, so you know you wouldn't. I guess the VR though, does still have cables, yeah. so that's yeah, don't good. go rolling around just no, yet. But you know, definitely not. And our last entry. Don't forget okay. you're you're choosing one this week. Yes, it's from Daniel Nielsen who says, 301 Club, so freaking balls! time to die. Also, <laughs> peripheral, maybe? <laughs> Think about it. A big white thing in the middle of your room, directly in front of the TV, just so you could feel how riding in the next Elder Scrolls or Assassin's Creed game felt. Did he say a horse uh -huh. peripheral? A horse peripheral. A horse a big, peripheral. And he's described it, a big white thing in the middle of your room. <laughs> Has he, has he seen a horse? I think he's thinking of, uh, about one of those, like, sort of, um, you know, those bulls that you, like you ride. Get, that we have uh, to do at E3 every year. Exactly, yeah, you know, the whole bull thing. Yeah. Just in the middle of, the, of your room. I mean, it takes we up quite a lot of space. We can't think of the name, can we? No, I don't know what it's called. Rodeo. Rodeo, bull, you know, but one of those. Buckaroo. But for VR. Still not getting it. Um, it. Just in time for Red Dead 2. The winner is the coat. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. That's the external. As much as I like the white thing in the middle of your living room, no, it's the coat. It's the coat. Well, congratulations, Zix. Imagine it breathing on your shoulder, Dave. Um, everyone take a moment, uh, maybe stand wherever ever. you are, and hand on heart. And uh, I mean, does this mean that Zix is just 301 Club King forever? Forever? No, just, no, for, just for the week. Just you get the week and then, <laughs> then we dissolve the whole position. Yeah, so. the office has been vacated. But uh, thank you. Thank you to all our past 301 Club winners. Yeah. This is quite sad. I mean, I, 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 don't, don't, feel, know. I don't feel that sad. Are I we doing right. the right thing here? Yes. We've had 84 
winners. 84, that's not true. We didn't do it for it from the start, but yeah. you know, up to 84. It's a good song, man. I'm gonna miss the badger with the hair in the video. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, me too. And we've lost that wig now, so we can never recreate that. RIP. So all that's left to talk about this week, Nath, is what's coming up this week. What is coming up this week? I don't know, I hope that you'd know. Oh, are you supposed to write it in the script? Well, there's a Dirt 4 video, because I've, I've been to play Dirt 4. You have indeed. Um, it's really good, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it so, is really good. And it offers procedurally infinite rally stages. Yeah, probably. So, well, Which we've determined by way of uh, that video, actually, that is, is the most kind of accurate simulation of rally driving because you have to depend on your co-driver You actually have to pay more. attention, You yeah. can't just practice Sorry, and practice and practice the same track over and over again. Co-driving guy. Yeah. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, Rob's busy right now on his Friday feature. He is. We've got a new feature idea. Come on, new feature idea. It's in the works. We're uh, just, we're tuning it, yeah. making sure it's ready for public consumption. And another um, new feature idea. That is also true that we have another one on top of the one that we've already spoken about, which is going to go out on Tuesdays. We do have another idea. We're full of ideas. Yeah. So be excited about Very that. Very little concrete project product yeah. to show for it. And we're like an R and D team for watching this yes. week. Thank uh, you. Access Granted, I'm not sure it's going to still be called Access Granted, yes. but this show is still is very fluid and it's still determined by you guys and Sense what you want. So please we're always do. Gonna, so we're always going to, from now on, we're going to play a game at the beginning. I'm going to win. Dave's going to wear the onesie immediately afterwards. And then we're going to read comments out while Dave looks sad and furry. And exactly. And so what, what that second half of the show is depends on what you send us. So send us things. Send yes. Us. Keep your comments coming in. Let us know what you think about the changes. Only if uh, you like them. And, and, uh, and it's going to be constantly evolving. But I think one thing that's definitely going to stay is we're going to put one on one Z up front uh, because, you know, just get the, that good stuff in your eyes right from like the off. Yeah, exactly. So thank you very much for watching this week. I know it's been a lot to take in, but just, you know. It's okay. Deep breaths. We can get through this. And all the old ones are still on the channel. You can watch them all. remember you were going to do the sad Spanish version of the film? I remember that you told me yeah, I was going to do that. But wouldn't it be perfect if we could play that now? It just would a, be. Just a little bit of a stranger. Sadly, stranger-y. as you know, time is against us and we really, really can't. <laughs> just imagine it. No. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Please do comment so that we can continue to have this show. Uh, and the longer I talk, the longer Nate has to wear the onesie. Just as, as say goodbye, man. You've said it. You've done it like three times already. You're so like thank a horse you for watching. That won't go through the gate. <laughs> Just get out the VR gate. horse peripheral. I'm leaving. <laughs>